Hello everyone, this is Gabriel. Today is October 4th, 2014, and today I want to show you my Rantocinium in full bloom. It's my uh, Wildcat Green Valley. It has five branches, but for some reason uh, it stayed all compacted. I don't know why they didn't go down like they should. Anyway, it's a really nice size uh, spec and has lots of flowers. I really love it. Uh, it's getting a lot of sun lately uh, since I changed my um, curtains. Now I have these uh, kind of see-through uh, sheer curtains and most of my orchids are getting a lot of light. Um, the problem now that I'm having is um, not so much with the uh, spider mites, but I'm having um, fungal infection. So uh, leaves are turning black with spots, and uh, well, now I'm using um, this product that a lot of people talk wonders about, and it's called uh, Fison 20. I'm gonna put it on uh, on display on the screen later, and um, I hope it works because uh, a lot of my plants are getting that nasty thing. This other one surprised me with a blooming spike. It's a Cattleya. Um, let me see the name, uh, and I'm gonna show you the tag. Let's see if it can focus. Elsie Edgar. Van Bell cross with uh, Cattleya Intermedia, also cross with BLC Magic Meadow Green Genius, and it's supposed to be green. Uh, this date is uh, when the plant was, uh, I don't know, originally um, for sale, and uh, but I actually bought it in 2011. And I transplanted it or repotted uh, this year in January, and now it's having these two flower buds. I'm going to add a picture of it according to what I found on on the net, and uh, to show it to you, it's uh, it has green sepals with um, white with pink coloring on the petals. It's kind of cute, I don't know if it's fragrant, but I'm really ex excited about this uh, new um, new bloom in my house. It's a, a bifolia um, cattleya, because it has two leaves, like the, the word says. And um, some people don't like bifolia, so, I mean some of my friends said that they rather get the, um, the ones that only have one leaf. And I can see why, because these two are too close together. And the flowers are going to get kind of um, too close to, to the leaves. But anyway, really excited about those um, blooms. And let me see what I can show you here. Uh, there's nothing really going on. Um, just like I said, fighting with the fungal infections. And uh, like you can see, I have all this sun right now. Let me take my camera somewhere else and show it, show you. Yeah, that's a lot of sun. And um, well, still hear my all my Oncidium uh, Alliance orchids. And uh, well, nope. Blooms. It seems like this um, dendrobium. It's kind of starting to to form a uh, blooming spike, but I'm not sure. Okay, what else? Uh, what else? What else? Uh, yeah, this other Cattleya. It's also in sheath. It's the one that is called um, daffodil, the yellow one, kind of um, rubbery kind flower, uh, kind of cute, and I have this other one that uh, surprised me, I just found out yesterday, that it has a blooming spike, 
with two flowers I mean um, at least uh, flower buds it, it had a sheath um, more than a couple months ago and it started getting dry like last time and then suddenly I had the blooming spike I watered once a week and last week it didn't have the spike anyway that's the older older um, Suno bulb. This one, it's the newest. I don't know if it's going to bloom this e uh, this year. Probably it will. It will. Um, I don't know next year since it's October right now, and um, or maybe it's going to surprise me and bloom uh, soon. I don't know because this orchid it's always surprising me uh, with the spikes um, showing up when I'm not expecting them. Anyway, so. Like I said, Cattleyas are about to bloom, and well, these are my Vandas. This is my baby Vanda. It's not growing that fast as I uh, as I would like it. And this is the other, the uh, Vasquez Chalice. It keeps growing, no blooms either. And what else? I have my. This is another Vanda that I didn't show you before. Uh, it's kind of, it's supposed to be um, already blooming size. I paid twenty five dollars. It's from Laris Orchids, and um, it had no name tag, so I have no idea what the flowers are going to look like. And what else? I have these guys. Um, oh, remember this one I told you that I thought it had a blooming spike? Well, not, it's not. It's just another pseudobulb. It looked like a blooming spike, but it's not. Anyway, the um, baby one still growing here. The other one has the new pseudobulb and well oh yeah this is the um psychopsis because i forgot to say it it's the psychopsis um mendenhall hildos or hildos whatever and for those of you who wanted to know about my uh kikis on this um phalaenopsis well this phalaenopsis i have to repot uh, very soon. I hope I can do it this week. And but the uh, kikis, gosh, look at these roots. They're huge. They are ready to get their own pot. Uh, it's three of them. This is this is one. And here I have the twins. Like I said, they are ready to to go to their own um, pot. This is my uh, zygopetalum that for some reason got sick. I don't know if it's, um, look at the leaves, uh, probably spider mite damage, but uh, I haven't noticed any spider mites. I've been spraying with um, alcohol and, well, it's not dying, but it's not growing. I have no idea what's the problem. Anyway, there's not much to show. Um, I have my Dendrobium nobili that uh, had a little nub that never did anything, didn't grow, didn't bloom, but uh, today it lost all the leaves, it had the uh, the new growth next to it. I don't know if it's time for nobilis to lose the leaves, but um, anyway, I'm really, I really don't know much about nobilis. So, uh, that's all I have. No other blooms, uh, no expecting blooms, and um, well, this is my uh, plant that is not an orchid, it's a Hoya, and they're supposed to bloom. I don't know how much uh, sunlight they need, but they need bright light. It's a variegated uh, leaves. I think it's mixed, because uh, some of them are not, um, variegated and I didn't think it was going to grow much but it lately it's sending a new 
gosh, look at this. It's it's growing a lot. It's growing on um, coconut fiber, not um. I don't know. It's not fiber. Anyway, you know, like when you buy uh, those like bricks and it's uh, fiber or something. It looks like soil, but uh, I don't know. It has nothing else. Just that thing, coconut powdery thing. Uh, if someone knows about how to grow hoyas, please let me know because I really love this one. I love the foliage. If it, even if it's not going to bloom ever, I just love the uh, foliage. Anyway, well that's all I have uh, today. And um, well I hope you like my little update. I know it's been a long time, I really have no no time to do um, videos every week. And um, I was looking in um, my garden today outside and my poor plants look so, so bad because I haven't watered or do anything. Anyway, well thanks for watching and I hope I can have a new video soon. Thank you.